since then they wanted to book me for everything and now that I'm doing it and hearing what other artists have to say about it and how they're terrified it's like okay now I'm starting to get scared so tonight I'm not gonna lie I'm nervous <laughs> but it's yeah it's, it's an honor Yeah, um, I was actually talking to Blake today, and he's wondering where I am, and um, I'm going to be watching him tonight, and uh, it's cool that Miranda's here, and yeah, it is like a family reunion. I saw Blake um, CMT Awards night, and it's always so refreshing seeing him, so it's going to be exciting tonight. Did you check out some other versions of the National Anthem as you started to create your own, and what are your favorite versions? I have not looked up any other ones. I kind of did the national anthem, the real, just um, plain way that it always is sang, um, and I kind of just stuck with that. I don't want to change it and kind of confuse myself, so. <laughs> Danielle, um, today we, we were talking with Sarah Evans a little bit, and, and we were talking about, you know, the moments when people sing her songs and sing them so beautifully and what it means to her, and when you did it and won the voice. <laughs> What's it like for you now knowing there are teenage fans out there who are going to be singing your songs and you're going to have that same amazing feeling now? Yeah, I, I remember singing Sarah Evans' songs on The Voice. I sang them quite a few and uh, when I first met her and now I saw her earlier today and I mean we act like we've known each other forever and, and that kind of, I just need to pinch myself sometimes. But um, I mean that feeling of just singing her songs and meeting her and what she's told me and how awesome I did, and, and that feeling is awesome. And, and the fact that I've seen and heard um, people, I mean, younger and my age, sing my songs, it's, it's, a, it's a really good feeling. <laughs> uh, what have you been doing at CMA Music Festival? Um, um, any, any signings, anything like that so far? That's your first time. Yeah, it is my first time. Uh, I did my first fan club party yesterday, and uh, that was really awesome. Getting to see everybody kind of do the thing of my new single, Young in America. They're all dressed in American flags. It was a lot of fun. Um, I did the River Stage today, which was awesome. Um, and I'm doing the National Anthem here tonight. And I've just been, I did the CMT Awards at Rock the, um, Rocked the red carpet. I walked to the red carpet, <laughs> and uh, I, I got to sit and watch, and I uh, performed on the nationwide stage. So this is a lot of first time for me, and uh, it's been an experience. It's awesome. That was kind of my question, but you mentioned Blake. Uh, did he give you? Did you ever talk to him any more as far as advice? Did he give you any Blake type advice going into the CMA Music Festival? I, I talk to him every now and then um, when it's. When we do talk, it's always how you doing, how you feeling, um, and, and that kind of stuff. Uh, we didn't really talk about going into the CMA, I mean, CMT awards and everything, but I mean, he's been around and I was going to see him after this, and, and maybe he'll, he'll tell me something then, but he's always willing to say, just be you and have fun. Becca, last question. Um, I know you get ready to head off to Mexico this weekend. I wanted to know if you could just sort of talk about, A, having a job that allows you to do something yeah, I have never been to anywhere like that, so getting the opportunity to just go and do work, but it's also so much fun. It's, I mean, that's another thing I have to pinch myself about, because I never thought I'd be doing